Now let's dive into what's probably the most difficult method of VAR to calculate, the Monte Carlo method. Basically, we're going to simulate numerous potential future price paths. These paths are going to be based on the mean and the standard deviation. And then we might run thousands of different simulations and calculate potential gains or losses for each of the simulations. And then we're going to look at all of those values and find the VAR at the percentile that we're interested in. It'll look something like this. In order to calculate the VAR, let's assume that our starting portfolio value is $1,000 and our expected return for one single year is 10% and we have a 20% standard deviation. Now, let's assume that we're going to try to calculate this VAR for a 95% confidence level and a one year time period. So we will just run thousands of different simulations based on these metrics to see what is our VAR going to be at this confidence level. So every single time our simulation is going to start at 1000. Now our mean expectation is that we would end at one year in the future, we would basically have like $1,100. So if we do thousands of simulations, we're going to have so many results that go so many different ways. Every single simulation starts out at $1,000 and then it progresses over time. And let's say we did this thousands and thousands of times, then we take all the results and we take the basically the fifth percentile worst outcome of all the results. And that ends up being, let's say, that we end up with about $600 in that fifth percentile worst outcome. Why is it fifth percentile? Because it's the confidence level minus one, which would give us that fifth percentile worst outcome. Now, we have this $600 at the end, so what would our VAR be? Well, we actually lost, if we ended up with 600 and we started with 1,000, we actually lost a total of $400. And so if we lost $400 out of our original $1,000, then we ended up with a 40% loss at that 95th percentile worst outcome, which means that our VAR in this case would be a negative 40%. If you'd like to learn how to calculate the value at risk using the Monte Carlo method in Excel or Python, click here or here.